Hey Sony, please include the new DRM in your games. It's a humble request. Well, that's not me saying that some of the people on Steam which are ridiculously saying that please Sony include Denuvo in your games, in your latest titles, in your latest PlayStation ports to PC because they are freaking getting pirated. Well, there should be certainly a good solution to protect piracy other than hampering the performance of the game. Let me show you what if Denuvo gets incorporated in any of the game which is from PlayStation. This is a sample from uh, you know a video which was uploaded a few years ago by overlord gaming youtube channel i'm gonna be leaving the link in the description box or in the i button but the thing is denivo causes 30 to 40 percent additional cpu usage but other than that here is a real sample nuvo and vm protected exe took 113.91 seconds to load the main menu on its first run can you see the loading times can you see the big difference in the loading times that's when you first of all launch a denivo game which is protected with denivo executable which is protected with denivo third party anti-cheat anti-temper drm it already builds up everything, shaders, resources and everything. And when your game loads finally after waiting for a couple of minutes even while purchasing a game, on the other hand, the removed Denivo, the so-called cat version of the game, just loads in 28.9 seconds. Well, this is what Denivo does. It sits on top of your game like a fat ass man and actually hampers the performance of your game. Not only this, some people and everybody when Assassin's Creed Origins was done complained the 100% CPU usage problem in 4 core CPUs while the causing thing was basically the game itself, the Denivo itself. When Denivo was removed, there was no issues playing the game on a 4 core CPU. And here what, and here just wait a second and see what Ubisoft had to say on this. Gen without it. But if you're a legit customer, well, it's not that great for you since this combo could tank your performance by a lot, especially if you're using a lot. Exactly. The legitimate users who have purchased a legitimate copy were actually suffering. And what Ubisoft was saying? Ubisoft was saying that, hey, our game is optimized enough, but you will have to play it on 30 FP. This is the target. We have optimized the game properly and there is no DRM causing any of the stuttering issues. Well, the statement was just trash because nobody wanted to play the game at 30 fps if you just uncap the fps to 30 obviously you won't encounter fps drops below 30 because that's a bad minimum and the requirement of that game was actually very low at that time but if you cap the game any game will run at 30 fps when you remove the cap you will see how stuttery the performance was and they were expecting you to play the game on minimum and recommended system requirement at 30 fps only only because of their third party denio drm running details it's beautiful landscapes and incredible cities in a complete seamless way with no loading screens Assassin's Creed Origins uses the full extent of the minimum and recommended PC system requirements while ensuring a steady 30 frame per second performance. Exactly, that's I that's what I was saying. And just see the FPS difference over here. Just see the game, how badly the game actually stutters. Let me show you and rewind it once again. You'll see oh, how sorry. badly the game stops. The benchmark started frequently in the Denuvo and VM protected EXE, particularly towards the end of the test. Just see the minimum FPS, it's only 2 FPS, that's how the stutters were. And the dude in this video, Overlord Gaming, is telling you about the stutters and the performance difference which actually Denuvo causes to your you game. To take our word for it, just keep an eye on the bottom of the screen. Stutters are recorded and indicated by spikes on the graph. Exactly, just see the spikes on the graph, how frequent are they, and just see the stutters on the left side of the screen. In contrast, you will find no spikes in the unprotected EXE. The test ran as smooth as butter. Not only spikes, if you do not even see the spikes, you will see the FPS difference and see the stuttering difference how Denivo caused in this game. This was only one example guys. And Ubisoft was literally not shamed at all. They were even proud of having anti-cheat solution like Denivo because it actually prevented the game from getting pirated. But ultimately it got pirated by Codex Group and pirated by all of the users as well. So what happened Ubisoft every time your game gets pirated, it doesn't matter. Yes, you probably will sell a whole lot of copies, uh, but still they will gonna be comparatively lower because everybody now knows the reality of your Denivo DRM. Not only Ubisoft does this thing, EA does this thing, every company, every major company, even Capcom does this thing who actually produces one of the best games is in terms of horror genre. So they still do produce this thing while knowing the fact that Denivo is literally a major culprit behind the performance. And if you see the maximum FPS in this game, you can see 186 FPS or, or if you just see 95 FPS, how much difference Denivo actually made in the past. Yes, these days Denivo's performance is improving but we cannot just see it. Why? We cannot see the real difference because Denivo games are not getting cracked. They are getting cracked but they are, there is still a very huge difference guys because uh, Denivo games, some of the Denivo games still remain uncracked till date. So what are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be seeing you in my way next video.